It's been 22 years, but as Harry Callis said, when Phillies return to action against the Atlanta Braves, we will never forget, nobody will, what happened on 9-11. Today, Major League Baseball will have some games, but they will always remember what happened on that day back in 2001. And this afternoon, the fans coming to the ballpark will get a chance to see two for the price of two. It's a day-night doubleheader. But Taiwan's got to do it today. I mean, he's he's got to keep the ball down, try to keep this team in the ballpark. Yeah, he's allowed 18 uh, home runs this year. As Acuna, 35 homers. What a season he's having. Oh. And the Braves have a leadoff walk here for Acuna. Ozzie Albee's the batter. Albee's switch hitter batting left-handed. Acuna stumbled. That ball's ripped toward right field. And that's a fair ball. Oh, no, they're going to call it foul. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, Ronald Cunha up there, he wanted to steal on that first pitch. But he kind of spun out right there with his right foot. There he goes. Pitch is swung out of this, throw to second base on one hop. He is out! Garrett Stubbs throws out his fifth runner of the year. Good pitch to throw on, too, by Garrett. And now here's Austin Riley. Austin Riley hammers this to left center field. And it is off the top of the wall. Austin is going to turn from second and head for third. And he's going to head home. And Austin Riley scores. Kay fumbled the ball and left. And Austin gets all the way home to give Atlanta the one to nothing lead. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He got it. Back to the splitter. And he gets Olsen on strikes. Unfortunately, a run home on a one hit, an error. And it's the veteran, Charlie Morton, on the mound. Yeah, for Charlie Morton, he's facing a team that has a lot of power, a lot of swing, aggressiveness early. And here's Charlie's pitch to Kyle Schwarber. He skies this. Ronald Acuna battling the afternoon sun. We'll take it for the first out. Turner continuing his magical month yesterday with another home run. Well, he got a breaking ball in, and it worked. Turner swings through the curveball, and there are two away. So he's walked back-to-back -back hitters, and it does bring Bryson up. His 23rd pitch of the inning, though, is a good one. Stott slams down his bat in frustration. Brandon Marshall lead it off. But there, Charlie Morton gets him on three pitches. Nick batting seven today. Castellanos on one hot bounce to Orlando. What a play by Orlando Arcia. That is a unbelievable play that he made look kind of uh, routine, but fantastic if you're Charlie Morton. Here's Michael Harris. This ball is hit hard to left center. Michael Harris finding a hole, and he's headed for second base. And he's got a stand-up double with one out here in the third. Man in scoring position for Ronald Acuna. Ronald swinging at the 2-0. This ball is going to drop beautifully. And provide another run for Atlanta. Harris trots home. It's two to nothing. That's when you know you're having a special year. Third walk issued by Morton. So he's had a little traffic in two of the innings so far. Right, let's see if Alec Bohm can make him pay. Line drive, Bates hit to left center field. That might score two. Schwarber's coming home. Harper's going to third. He's being waved home. It's kicked around by Harris. Bohm will stop at second. It's a two run double. We're tied up at two. And that pitch there was center cut for Alec Bohm. And boy, did he just put a good swing on that. And you see how fast that grass is. It'll be Brandon Marsh leading it off for the Phillies. Now, Charlie. That is his patented pitch. The curveball down and in. He got Marsh to chase. Four strikeouts now for Charlie. Well, Charlie Morton's locked in right now. Another good curveball. This time he gets Castellanos. Braves have another chance of runners in scoring position. And Ozzie Albies 0 for 2 so far with a strikeout and a pop out. This ball down the line. And it's fair off the wall. Well, not a homer, almost, but an RBI double for Ozzie. Albies in Atlanta is back in front. Well, you knew he had it on his mind to atone for that pitch that we were talking about, and he didn't miss it down the line. Matt Olson has struck out and walked. Olson, right center field, and it gets down, and it gets by Castellanos. Ozzie scores, Austin scores, and Atlanta has a 5-2 to two lead. And Matt Olson, the RBI leader across Major League Baseball, does it again. So singles from Schwarber and Harper, two on, two out. Now Alec Bohm, who tied the game his last time up with a double, floats that one. 
off the glove of Albies. It's a shallow right center field. Schwarber will score. Harper's going to third. He'll hold up there. RBI single for ball. And start the battery. 1-1. One, one. Swung on and lifted in the air to right. Acuna broke back. Now coming in. Fighting the sun. He lost it. It falls in. They're going to try to score Boehm in the throw. He's out. Harper did cross the plate, but Alec Bohm is gunned down as Acuna recovers to throw him out and keep the lead for Atlanta. Michael Harris, who has doubled and then been hit by a pitch today. Harris sends this to deep center. Marsh going back. And it's gone! Into the shrubbery and straightaway center field. Michael Harris with a two-run shot, and Atlanta has its three-run lead right back. Wow, he made the biggest part of the ballpark look really, really small. Stayed back and I believe hit this slider. Ronald Acuna Jr. swings and he makes it back to back jacks. Way out of here to deep left field, right up under the second deck. Eight to four Atlanta on Ronald's 36th homer of the year. Charlie Morton back out there for the Braves. Brandon Marsh, the Georgia native, will lead off for the Phillies. And he has struck out three times today. The hack trick for Charlie Morton against Brandon Marsh. See if Charlie can put a good ending to this very nice start here. Swing and a miss. Foul tipped into the mid. Good job by Charlie Morton. He gets through six. He strikes out nine. And Trey Turner's the batter. Trey is 0 for 3. Fly ball left field. Pretty well hit. Rosario's not going to even go back. It's a two run home run for Turner. He's done it again. 25 home runs, 72 runs batted in. And the Phillies are back in it. It's an 8 to 6 game. The man has 10 home runs in his last 11 games. And John, he has 15 home runs since the 4th of August. Here is Ozzy. Pulled on the ground at th uh, first base. Gobbled up on the dive by Bryce Harper. That's a nice play. To Harper, for a guy that never played there, he's, he's done a terrific job. Very nice. One more out to claim game one in this doubleheader. Trey Turner, two for four in his career versus Iglesias. Bouncer right side. Albies has it. Fires wide. And the Phillies have a base runner. That's and right. Rice Harper's coming up. 30,572 on their feet. That one's out to left center field. Harris is on the run. Did he do it? Yes. He did. Two run opposite field home run for Harper. It's his first home run here in September, and the Phillies have stunningly tied this game at eight. Here we go. Kevin Pillar has been announced to pinch hit. Base hit up the middle. Kevin Pillar right off the bench and delivering the RBI hit to put Atlanta back in front. Not only are you coming off the bench, that is his first at bat since August 30th. Orlando Arcia, the batter. Arcia lines it over Bohm's glove. Kevin Pilar around third. A huge RBI double for Orlando Arcia. And the Braves have a 10 to 8 lead. And now Castellanos struck him out. Kirby Yates slams the door on the Phillies in game one of the doubleheader. And the Braves' magic number is down to four to clinch the National League East.